we are still on the continuation of the lessons for continuous probability distribution, particularly for the normal distribution and the normal curve. This time, we're going to apply our knowledge on finding the areas under the curve in worded problem. So kasama na rin dito yung pag-convert natin ng raw score into a standard score. In a math test, the mean score is 45 and the standard deviation is 4. Assuming the scores are normally distributed, what is the probability that the score peak at random will lie on the following? We have above the score 50 and below the score 38. So by analysis, ang pinapahanap is what is the probability of the scores above 50? Katambos din siya ng area na hinahanap or katambas din siya ng percent of area na hinahanap. Then, ano yung hinahanap na probability ng score below 38? So, katambas din siya ng area below 38. So, kaya i-apply pa rin natin dito yung knowledge natin on finding the areas under the normal curve. Okay? Let's separate the solution for A and B. So, unahin natin yung above score 50. So, again, ito yung steps natin. Una, convert natin ang score na 50 into Z score. Then, sketch natin yung graph, i-locate kung nasaan yung Z score. Then, analyze and find the area. Now, ang formula ulit natin is x minus x bar all over s. Kasi wala naman sinabing population to. So, ang ibig sabihin nito ay sample mean. And then, wala din tong population na word considered siya as sample standard deviation. Substitute lang natin. 50 minus 45 divided by 4. The answer is 1.25. Ibig sabihin, yung score na 50, ang z-score niya ay 1.25. And then, ilocate natin sa graph yung 1.25. So, that is positive. Nasa kanan siya ng 0. Kung ito yung 0 natin, bandang kanan siya. So, estimate natin nandito yung 1.5. Now, analyze natin. Ang pinapahanap is above the score of 50, katampos din siya ng above 1.25. So kung titignan natin sa graph, itong ating 1.5, ang sinasabing above is lahat ng nasa kanan siya. Lahat, lahat ng nasa kanan niya, rather. Okay? Hanggang dulo. So katampos din siya ng greater than 1.5. Kasi above 1.5. So, ito yung area na pinapahanap. Okay? Again, kunin natin yung dalawang area. Una, area mula 0 hanggang 1.5. That is area 1. Kung hahanapin natin ang area ng 1.5 sa ating table of areas, ang sagot dyan is 0.3944. And then, gagamitin natin yung area ng buong half curve, which is 0.50 as area 2. Now, analyze natin uli. Yung buong half curve, pag binawasan natin ng area 1, ang matitira ay yung area above 1.5. Okay? So, the area will be area 2 minus area 1. 0.5 minus 0.3944, the answer is 10.56, or in percent, 10.56 percent. So, if that is the area, that is also the probability, okay? Therefore, the probability that the score peak at a random 
will be above score 50 is 10.56%. This is the solution and answers for A. Proceed tayo sa letter B. Same problem, same scenario, same given, but ang pinapahanap is probability of the scores below 38. Again, ito yung steps ulit natin. Una, convert 38 into z-score. Sketch natin yung graph, ilocate yung z-score. Then, analyze, then find the area. Again, ang formula natin, x minus x bar, all over s. So, ito ay sample mean, which is 45. Standard deviation is s, which is 4. So, substitute natin sa formula, 38 minus 45 divided by 4. The answer is negative 1.75. Ibig sabihin, yung row score na 38, ang katumbas niya sa z-score is negative 1.75. Again, locate natin sa ating graph kung nasa ng negative 1.75. Dahil negative yan, mas mababa yan sa 0, nasa left siya. Kaya makikita natin, nandito yung negative 1.75. Now, sabi, below score 38. So, katumbas din siya ng below negative 1.75. Okay? So, ito yon. Kung ito ang negative 1.75, ang below niya is lahat ng nasa left. So, mula dito hanggang tail. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng below. Negative 1.75. Now, yun yung area na hinahanap natin. At kailangan natin ng iba pang area para makomplete siya. So, mula dito hanggang negative 1.75, that is area 1. So, kung nga hanapin natin ang area ng negative 1.75 sa ating table of areas, ang hahanapin natin is yung positive 1.75. Makikita natin sa table of areas, ang sagot dyan is 0 0.4599. Okay. And then, gagamitin natin yung half curve, which is 0.5 as area 2. Again, by analysis, yung buong half curve, pag binawasan natin ng area 1, ang matitara ay yung area na hinahanap natin, which is below negative 1.75. So again, ang half curve is 0.5. So subtract natin. Area 2 minus area 1, 0.5 minus 0.4599, the answer is 0 0.0401 or in percent, 4.01%. So if that is the area, that is also the probability. Okay? Therefore, the probability that the score peak at random will be below the score of 38 is 4.01%. This is the answer and solution for our letter B.